home in Murray County. It happened in just a matter of seconds when her mother left the room. News Channel 9's Karen Zaglak talked with animal control and the child's mom about this devastating attack. Tim and Calvin, the pods got the dog on Sunday, and less than 24 hours later, he bites their 19-month-old little girl. Her mother says he's a good dog that didn't mean to hurt her, but she wandered too close to his food at the wrong time. Now the dog is being examined as little Cadence recovers. Cadence smiles through her scars today, but three days earlier, it was a horrific scene for both this one-year-old and her mother. It was it was pretty scary. Um, she was she was calmer than what I thought, but it was it was very scary. Amber Plot tells us they'd gotten this dog, four-year-old Great Dane, the day before, and on Monday when she turned to get the door, he brutally bit her baby. Set the food bowl down. Wasn't thinking um, to answer the door because um, we had a delivery. And uh, just in a second. Plot explains this dog was used to fighting for his food in his former home and probably thought Cadence was trying to take it. He just kind of chomped at her, realized that uh, he'd done it and backed off, luckily. That's when Plot rushed her daughter to the hospital where she went through surgery and got more than 60 stitches. As for the dog, animal control tells us he's being observed for 10 days. Then a decision will be made whether or not to put him down. Right now he's uh, showing no signs of aggression. He seems to be a good dog. Of course, he's confused, you know, being in here, uh, but he's not showing any aggressive signs. Director Pauline Davis says Great Danes are normally friendly, but they are big. This one weighs nearly 200 pounds. So she says when they feel threatened, they can certainly do some damage, especially around small kids. Anytime you bring in a dog, especially an adult dog, you know, you, the children should never be unsupervised. Today, Plot is grateful her little girl is okay and admits it's an awful situation for a dog who simply didn't know better. I, I know that it was an accident. He's doing what any other dog would do. But other than that, she's doing very, very well. Very well. Back to her old self. And Davis explains that during this 10-day period, the Environmental Health Department will also come check on the dog. She adds that the animal did not have a current rabies vaccination. Kim.